We would like to know if this series converge or diverge. The summation from 1 to infinity sine of 1 over n. But then as a good habit, we should just look at the expression first and then let n goes to infinity to see what happens. If we have if n goes to infinity, then we will have 1 over infinity which is 0, and then sine of 0 is 0. Unfortunately, we have to do more work after that. Alright, so now let's see, think about strategy and how we can argue that either it converge or diverge. Okay? So in many cases, that's all we care, either it converge or diverge, because sometimes, even though something that converge, but then we may not be able to find the sum that easily. So anyways, we have the expression inside this sine, over, sine of 1 over n, and then as you can see, we do have the 1 over n right here. And then we do know about the series 1 over n, the harmonic series. Let me just put down what we know. We know that the harmonic series, when n goes from 1 to infinity, and then you see that I'm matching the, um, the range right, from 1 to infinity. We know that this right here, it diverges. Um, you can say harmonic series, or you can just emphasize because this is n to the first power on the denominator, so p is equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1. Therefore, it diverges. Okay? And now, how can we make a connection between something that we know versus something that we want to make conclusion with? We have two kind of comparison tests that we can possibly use. Whenever you can come with something that you know, and then you can you know, use it quickly, like you know, come up with this quickly, Let's use the comparison test, okay? But we have two, two versions of that. Either we show that um, this right here, the sign of 1 of n, it's bigger than a divergent. That's the direct comparison test. But then I think in many cases, we like to use the limit comparison test much better. So in that case, we just check the following. And I will say, as n goes to infinity, and what we do is we just write down the ratio of sine of 1 over n and 1 over n, okay, which is just sine of 1 over n over 1 over n. We're pretty much comparing the ratio of this right here and that. That's the limit comparison test. But then as n goes to infinity, 1 over infinity will be 0, sine of 0 is 0, and on the bottom we have 1 over infinity, which is 0 right here as well. This is going to give us a 0 over 0 situation. So let me just put it down right here. So let me, this will be 0, this will be 0 right here. And we technically will have to use L'Hopital's rule. So um, let me just kind of change this slightly. Let me just change instead of the n to x. Let me just erase that. So we can legitimately take the derivative and then uh, use L'Hopital's rule. Okay? All right. Now, we take uh, the derivative on the top, so d dx, and then d dx on the bottom. So by applying L'Hopital's rule, derivative of sine of something becomes cosine of the same thing inside, and then we multiply by the derivative inside. Derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, okay? Over derivative of 1 over x is also negative 1 over x squared. And we're pretty lucky because this and that, they cancel completely. And then we pretty much just have cosine of 1 over x. And we know that we want x to go to infinity. Therefore, we know we are going to say this is cosine of 1 over infinity. And then 1 over infinity, once again, is 0. So we're talking about cosine of 0. And therefore, we know this approach to 1. And you have to remember what kind of conclusion that we can say about the number that we get. This is 1, which is bigger than 0 when we are doing the limit comparison test. As long as we have the result of this limit of the ratio, it's a positive number. That will tell us either this both converge or they both diverge. So this is a good result because we have a finite number. We have a 1, which is bigger than 0, so the check works. And therefore, I can draw a conclusion. I will just put on a conclusion right here. Either they both converge or they both diverge. But then, what do we know first? We know this diverge, right? So that means this has to diverge as well. So I will put this down. The conclusion is uh, summation from 1 to infinity, sine of 1 over n, the series that we are going to check. 
this also diverges by the limit comparison test. Okay, limit comparison test. And you have to put down what you know and then the check, do the work, okay? By the limit comparison test with the series n from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. And this right here will be it.